Hey everybody, this is a time lapse of some animation from my fifth short film, 65 million years ago. Right now I'm drawing a triceratops and a bar. This is scene four from my film. I'm using TV paint and roughing out the drawing over top of a sketch that I did on top of the original background. See, I'm spending a fair amount of time on the face, trying to make the expression read clearly. When I'm doing this, I'm often pushing, see, I just shifted the hand there for a strong silhouette. Make sure that the emotion is read clearly. I'm, I'm keeping it pretty low on the smooth animation side here, focusing more on the story and the straight. I'm <laughs> just looking at my drawing. <laughs> uh, see, yeah, look at that. Tilt the head forward. Focusing on the straightforwardness of the story and making sure that it reads clearly, that it's entertaining, that it's funny, and I'm prioritizing that over smooth animation. So you're going to see a lot of holds. You're going to see some stuff on fours and sixes for those of you who know animation. And I'm just trying to make it funny, trying to make it interesting, trying to make it uh, what I want to see. So here he's taken his uh, shot of whatever liquid it is, and he puts the glass back on the bar, and he opens his hand asking for another one. I'm not even going to in between those last two parts there. It's just going to be straight up drawings. So now I'm going and starting to clean it up. Again, using uh, TV Paint, uh, there's some really good tools here. I'm, I'm really happy with this program so far. I did traditional hand-drawn animation for a few years before I got into digital 2D and 3D. And this is, uh, yeah, this is taking me back to when I was drawing on paper. It's pretty great, except you got control. Well, in addition to the drawing, you got control Z, too. And you see on the screen right upper foot there. I've got a really awkward shape which I'm going to change in a minute because I don't like how that worked out but as I was going it's it's it was uh, it was serving the purpose. You can see sometimes I'll draw a line then undo it draw a line again. I'm just looking for the simplest workflow that I can get the lines done quickly get them done in a way that I can repeat it that it's uh, making making my job as easy as possible to get it done as quickly as possible and tell the story that I want to tell. Yep, yeah, there I did. I fixed that uh, fixed that foot. I knew I did that. So I recorded this over uh, about three, four hours and I've condensed it all down to six minutes. Angle changes on the head, uh, that's something that I want to try to accentuate for shape change for variety again because I'm keeping the animation relatively limited I want to go for as much contrast within the drawings as I can you can see I'm rotating the disc around a lot I'm working on a 21 inch Cintiq and paying attention to your body's natural inclinations the way that your elbow rotates, the way that your shoulder rotates, the way that your wrists rotate, the way your fingers rotate is, uh, is important for, again, getting it done quickly and making it efficient. You can see I'm doing a lot of flipping between drawings here. It's good to see the drawings before and after, but uh, flipping is the only way to really see how they're going to work together. So I've got shortcut keys set up to flip between the drawings quickly. And you can see I'm stretching the face out. I'm setting up the eyes, mouth. Those are the big, big shapes that really get a lot of attention when you stretch them out. You can see I'm stretching out the leg there too. But it's, it's those uh, smears that not only look cool and are fun and funny, but they save time. 
because I'm not going to be doing a bunch of close or even far away in-betweens. So now I'm going into the color stage and TV paint is uh, super efficient. Just you paint basically the background and then you delete everything around the character so that it all starts out. And I'm keeping the color palettes very simple, just painting three colors, three shades of one color on each character. And it's uh, pretty easy to work with. Teeth are a lighter color, eyes are a lighter color, shot glass, stomach, inside the mouth, horns are a different color. And now I'm adding 30% black tones to the character. Thinking about the light source coming from the top right. I really like that Samir drawing in there, that one there. That's one of the best drawings I think I've... I, I just... Uh, that, when I was doing that drawing, I really felt like I was hitting my stride. Yeah, yeah, this is this is how the program's working, how it's supposed to. This is what's what I'm seeing in my mind that I'm able to get out there. Finishing up the tones here. So this uh, film is going to be done in probably about six months. It's August of 2017 now. I am going to have it on vimeo.com slash zon, vimeo.com slash xon. So check out 65 Million Years Ago and my other short films up there. Thanks for checking it out.